which is a piece that is in possession of beauty, which is admired and appreciated by people. To achieve the necessary aesthetic value, creating artwork necessitates a high level of creativity. The ancient culture's works of art took several forms, including architecture, sculpture, and graphic arts. According to Statista, art, entertainment, and recreation contributed 58,041 to the Nigerian GDP in the year 2020. Some of the very notable art who in one way or the other adds to Nigerian GDP and the global art market through their artworks are Victor Eikameno, Beju Alatishi, Nike Davis Okundai, Ade Adekola, Sam Ebonho, and now Olumide Oreshegun is at the fore of increasing Nigeria's GDP through art. According to Statista, the revenue was projected to grow from 5.55 billion US dollars in 2019 to 10.8 billion dollars in 2023. And with the right incentives given to artists and precocious students such as Olumide Oreshegun, this number will grow. Olumide Oreshegun is an award-winning Nigerian hyper-realism artist who has attracted the media and art experts in Nigeria. Nigeria and beyond. My name is Olumide Oreshegun. I'm a contemporary hyperrealism artist. Welcome to my world. My work is an expression of how I interpret the society. I started drawing at the age of four and I could remember very well then I used to use some of my uh, notebook to draw with pencil or either a crayon and the rest. So I developed the interest when I discovered that there is so much passion in it. Time goes on when I went to secondary school, I discovered I can have some of my, uh, I can dictate a time for myself to practice probably two hours, one hour or thereabouts. So when I discovered that I think this interest grew more and I enjoyed this um, art that I'm doing, I, I went to Yaba College of Technology to study fine arts and uh, I went through on the ND program and HND program. Then I discovered that I can specialize in painting, which is something I very I'm, lo I'm in love to up to date. So um, then after finishing from Yaba Tech, I started working as a studio artist immediately because there's no other job um, outside. And for the fact that I graduated with distinction in Yaba Tech, so I I understand there is no. Um, uh, company I can take that um, certificate to other than practicing and showing what's the reason why I got that um, uh, grade. I discovered I can still pursue this art by doing so many research, trying to go to museums, trying to go to different exhibitions, putting into so many competitions and getting so many awards like, for, like three or four prize awards in different categories of um, exhibition and competition. The inspiration behind my artwork uh, is basically, I want to like tell so many stories about my community, life, biology, and um, I try to like combine all those things for me to be able to achieve uh, what I want. So, and for me to be able to tell the audience what it's like to be um, a creative person and to speak volume. I try to tell stories about what we are facing, how we can get a dynamic result in that regard. So I think in that aspect, my work resonates with all things that are happening in the country and the past and the future at the same time. 
Uh, this particular painting, I titled it uh, Morning Story. It tells us about the story about two girls that are reminiscing about things they normally see in newspaper that interest them and things that they really like to read about different stories of people. You know, if you look at, they are so engrossed with this kind of um, news that they are reading. And if you look at the present day now, you, you might not see girls reading newspaper like this because they can be on their own phones and tablet. So this is a story of the past I'm trying to portray here. Become a first money agent and earn extra income, ma. Oh, really? First Money Agent today by visiting any First Bank branch or register on www.firstbanknigeria.com. You first. First Bank. I use water because I found water as a source of life and I was trying to look for um, ways in which I can do something that everybody will, in the world will, will resonate with. And there is nobody in this world that cannot understand what water is. I was looking at a subject that I can attach, or a, a concept or an idea I can attach to my figurative style that I was doing in 2000 to 2010. So I was looking for something I can attach to it. So through my research, I discovered that the only thing I can attach that would be so difficult for me is to have something element, liquid elements, which everybody can resonate with and everybody cannot do without. I seek out opportunities in so many ways. I think right here in Nigeria, there are so many galleries uh, that I give my works to and there are some other international galleries that I also uh, work with and some big collectors as well and a top executive of different um, para starters also there are also the people that uh, they are I communicate with and uh, they are also patronizing what I'm doing and there are some also museums that are also uh, in line right now that are interested in patronizing what I'm doing and also collecting uh, some of the fantastic work I'm doing. Is that works are so stunning, like absolutely stunning, very realistic that when you see them for the first time, you will think they are photographs and um, until you take a second look, then you realize they are paintings. This particular work is called preparation. I try to um, explain or tell a story about a young kid that is preparing for an Arabic uh, graduation. You can see the housemaid is trying to uh, give uh, the finishing touch on her hair. So the, the all um, background, you can see that they are also in a kitchen where the housemaid is preparing some um, dishes before she prepares herself for the uh, graduation. So it's like a story of something that happened in the past and I'm trying to like portray it on how um, I see it and how I experienced it in the past and so many things that is happening. I'm a storyteller because I try to tell story through my work. People look at my work and see what they are missing or the, their past. They can be able to resonate with their past and their future and their present at the same time through my lens. So I think that's an angle at which, at which I can be happy that I'm um, communicating to the people 
uh, people are uh, also um, trying to uh, see something in what I'm doing. This particular painting is an oil on canvas painting. It's titled Adored. So if you look at all human beings, whenever they take bath, they keep um, rubbing their body with towel. But I titled this Adored because I at all have allowed the girl to uh, be in that state and I can be able to paint each of the droplets on her face and I see so many beauty around those droplets. That's why I call this her door. The challenges I encounter uh, as somebody running um, business in Nigeria is power first. And uh, there's no other challenges apart from that. Because of his talent and his um, hard work, I see him in a better place in, in the next five years, and of course, alongside with the family. I will receive numerous awards, and one, some of the awards are visual, some of the ones are online, some are uh, plaques, some are so many different uh, awards. So uh, there are numerous, are close to like over 15 work awards. My major subject is basically figurative um, concepts because while I was trying to uh, paint, I tried to paint so many of the landscape, seascape, just to enjoy my, uh, the presence of life in, inside my art. But as time goes on, I discovered I can see so many things, I can tell so many stories with faces and that is what I'm practically doing presently. Every artist has one or two paintings or drawings or um, concepts he must have created that uh, he has attachment for. But in my own case, I think I have attachment to some works that takes longer time to produce. I look at what the work, um, work and the kind of things I want to pass so there are some works that takes me like three months, four months trying to achieve something. So if I've achieved that through that kind of life time frame and, and someone comes and trying to probably um, offer uh, interest in it. So it's somehow difficult for me. Sometimes I don't want to like bring those work out for people to even see. So that is to show the extent at which I'm attached to the work. My name is Olimide Oreshegun. I'm a pioneering contemporary hyperrealism artist in Africa and Nigeria. I'm a first-class material.